everyone, this is the untwisted voice of Terry G. Thanks for stopping by and watching my video blog. If you could take a second, can you please subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it again. Thanks for stopping by. You know what this video is about? This video is about feeling anxiety, feeling nervousness and uptight in recovery. In early recovery, I don't care if you got 20, 30 years in recovery, just feeling this sense of anxiety or nervousness or uncomfortable. Where does that come from? Why is it that alcoholics think they have anxiety issues when really it's perfectly normal? If you have anxiety so bad that you can't leave your house, yeah, go and see a doctor. But having normal anxiety normal nervousness or feeling uncomfortable is pretty damn normal for an alcoholic it really really is the problem with alcoholics is that we've never done anything sober in our lives we haven't done anything sober if you're anything like me i drank when i had sex i drank a job interview was driving my car going to court paying bills talking to girls dancing going to weddings going to whatever campfires whatever oops whatever it may be i went drunk or with a little buzz on. Alcohol is also called the social lubricant. It gives us a false sense of easy comfort. It calms us down. So when we stop drinking, guess what? We become real. Everything becomes real. We have an exaggerated feeling of nervousness and feeling anxious. We really do. It's not that you have an anxiety issue. You have a living problem and you need to start working the 12 steps or start working on yourself. The first thing I do when I felt anxiety is that I used to get paralyzed. I'd go to meetings or I'd go somewhere, somebody asked me to do something, read something or speak up in front of a meeting, whatever it may be, and I was paralyzed, I couldn't do it. I was like, my God, they're all gonna be looking at me. What are they gonna think of me? What am I gonna say? Am I gonna make any sense? I was thinking all those things. And that's the thing we need to stop. Take the focus off us. And if you can go into a situation, yeah, you're gonna feel anxiety, you're gonna feel a little nervousness and uncomfortable. If you can take the focus off yourself, that's a one big giant step of getting over social anxiety in a, in a level that is tolerable, of course, but that's one giant step. So focus on what's going on around you, not about yourself. And alcoholics, you know us, our number one topic is about ourselves, isn't it? So focus on what's going on around you. And if you need to do something in your life new or just going to work or whatever it may be, just a simple fact of getting out of bed and going to work and functioning at work and you feel all nervous, try not to drink so much coffee. Try not to drink so much caffeine products because that heightens anxiety. It makes us more nervous. Living a sober life is brand new to us. It's brand new to us. So we're going to feel nervous. It's unknown. I don't know about you, but I drank all the time. I'd lost a bunch of jobs because of it. My life was really, really crummy. So when you stop drinking, you're going to feel anxious. You're going to feel a certain level of anxiety because it's all new to you. I never asked a girl to dance silver. I never did anything silver. So feeling anxious, or anxiety is really, really normal. Don't let it stop you. Another thing I do is I just do little tasks. If I'm called upon to do something and I really don't want to do it, I just don't do it. But if it's, if it's little and I figure I can do it, I just go ahead and do it. I don't do things in early recovery that really overwhelm me. I just did little things that I, I felt I could do to build my confidence. And that's a really key one. If somebody asks you to do something big and you feel anxious and you're really afraid to do it, you don't really have to do it. But if they ask you maybe next time to read something or, or sweep the floors or do something small that you feel confident in doing, go ahead and do that because you'll feel more confident as time goes on. And that'll help you with your anxiety. It'll help you with your nervousness. You'll start feeling kind of normal. Another thing I do is I breathe. If I'm feeling really anxious and I have to do something, something new in my life, I pay attention to my breathing and I pray. To, I pay attention to the way I'm breathing. I do like belly breathes. I breathe from my, my stomach and, I, and that's very calming and relaxing. I also make sure I eat properly because if you don't eat, it heightens the adrenaline in your body and it heightens the nervousness or the anxiety. So make sure you're eating properly also. 
Okay, so what I want to say is anxiety, nervousness in recovery is really, really normal. And one last thing, people who are not even alcoholics or have addiction issues experience anxiety. They really do. It's a common everyday occurrence in most people. This is the untwisted voice of Terry G. And as usual, look after yourself because it shows. And thanks for stopping by one day at a time. If you could take a second, can you please leave a comment? Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.